Welcome to Tory Hall Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler and I'm going to do another Dallas skyline painting. This time I wanted to do some, try to do something very different. As I said before, I always like to really experiment with these skyline paintings. And this time I've got the skyline centered with a lot of space around it. So I thought it might be interesting to take a large brush and just kind of swirl some paint around it and see what happens. So I'm not going to take a huge brush, but I'm going to take a fairly big brush and just kind of swirl it around. Don't know. We'll see. Since I have the skyline in Magic Marker, it's not going to go away. But I thought I'd just kind of circle around it. And then I'll probably be reestablishing the whole skyline. And because I'm doing this real quickly, it's going to probably do a lot of bleeding. really get into doing these skyline paintings. I have two now of Dallas. I like to do five because then I can list five on my Etsy listing. You can have five of a similar thing on there and I have a number of them there so please be sure to look at that Toe Hill Studio and Etsy. And just gonna really play around just going to keep this circular pattern going and see what happens. I may have to work on this one off camera since it's going to take a while just to fill this up to do this part. But, yeah, it's definitely something I haven't done yet, so that's what I wanted to do. Something completely different. And this really is completely different. From what I've done so far in all my skyline paintings, I have not done this. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of reestablishing it because the uh, skyline is going to probably get very lost in all these circles. Yeah, it's really getting lost. That's all right. Can always go back into it. Wonderful thing about pain is it's almost always done in a lot of layers. Getting some nice bleeding and some you know some colors in between the colors that I think is going to be very interesting because I'm not thinking about the color hardly at all. I am just really getting the circular motion to see if that might make a very interesting expression. It may turn out to be a whole lot more of the expression of the painting. Than the skyline itself. Don't know. But it's going very quickly, that's for sure. Uh, probably not going to use the hair dryer and go back into it. I'm probably just going to mess around with this for a while until the whole canvas has this swirl. And then I'll decide. I've only been going for a few minutes, and I do like to have these for about. 20 minutes. I've been told that that's a good length for YouTube. And I've mentioned this before that it used to be, they said, get in there quick, you know, 50 seconds, people aren't going to watch for more than 50 seconds. And I'm like, oh, great. So I have a lot of real quick YouTubes. Some of them actually have my own music. Uh, I play my piano every day. I don't consider myself to be a great musician or anything, but it is a very important part of my life. And I am pretty advanced. Play real, can play real complicated stuff. I recently, well it's not that recent, it's been a while now, I've been having trouble with technology as always, we older people tend to have that. I wrote a song and I actually got it copyrighted. And I'm going to do a YouTube with my shore work because it's a painting about the shore and have that in it. And I've got a recording device that also plays it back, which you know, of course most of them do. And I had the worst time figuring it out. I couldn't believe it. I thought, good grief. I know I'm up there in age, but my goodness. Should be able to figure this out. And I finally had to get somebody to help me. And now I know how to use it. So I'm going to set up my shore paintings, which is a real popular, important part of my work. I love the shore. 
and just have that music. It's called Rehoboth Beach Dreams. Um, spent a lot of time at Rehoboth Beach when I was young. Gorgeous beach in Delaware. And I think that this piece of music echoes what it's like. And I haven't studied music that extensively, but um, my husband studied a little more than me. And he said, yeah, I, I feel like there's really water in this music. And I was just trying to compose anything because I'd never tried before. And I thought, that'd be fun because I have never in my life. I've just played mostly classical music because I just really, really like the classics so much. So I thought, well, why not? And it wasn't really easy either. I really am very... <laughs> Very impressed with composers. I'm really starting to like the way this is turning out. I hope that you're able to see it. I think the light might be a little too strong because when I look in the camera viewer, it doesn't look as strong as what I'm seeing. But we'll see. And I'm a little bit, I've got, did the best I can, could today to really get this in the camera. And I'm really rushed for time. And I said, I'll give up. This is going to be close enough. So some of it, you're not going to be able to see me paint. That's okay, it's just going around in circles around the whole canvas. And of course, there will be a thumbnail and it will be on my website. And when I get five of these, this is the third one, it'll also be on Etsy. And I really think this is fun. I've never done this before. And I like the way it's bleeding. And I may not go back into the circular effect that much because I think it's done some very interesting things by the paint just going together that I'm probably not going to change it a whole lot. In fact, I'm just going to do a little more getting the color a little more intense, but I, I don't want to get to the point where I'm putting down paint on the dried areas because then the bleeding will go away. And I re I'm really liking the way that's happening. It's giving kind of a, a mystical look to this painting that I think has turned out really well. So this may be a short one, because uh, if I'm doing anything else, I am going to, uh, see I'm starting to do that, starting to lose the bleeding now. I am going to probably work on it off camera. Yeah, I better watch out, I'm going to start losing that. And I don't want to, and I don't want to get my hair dry around. I think, it, oh there, that helps. really like strong accents. And it's still bleeding there through there a little bit. So I think I'll get a smaller brush a very small brush and just go into the areas where there isn't paint and see if that looks better or worse. Art is such an adventure as I've talked about many times before. It's um, especially this kind. It's you start off an idea and then it kind of takes over. Even when I'm working on my what people call representational work of the Blue Ridge, it still takes over at a certain point and starts talking to me because you can't really reproduce what's out there. Okay, I'm starting to lose it. You can only get a, uh, you know, you can just sort of get some stuff. Um, you know, think about it. If you could really reproduce what's outside, then if you took a picture of the sun, when you looked at that print, it would, if it was really, this, if you'd really capture the sun, it would burn your eyes out. And that doesn't happen. Uh, photography is also a type of shadow of what we see. Really good one though. Okay, I'm starting to lose the bleeding, so I think I better take my larger brush again and maybe just some real watery paint, do a little bit more, and then I'm going to quit. And maybe, yes, yeah, this area here is still bleeding. That's what I, yeah, that's good. want to get a little more, a little more going on, but I don't want to lose those drips. <laughs> Uh, may seem kind of strange, but um, I think those drips are really nice. Yeah, I'm going to start losing this. I better quit. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose it. Okay, I'm going to use a real strong color through there before I lose that area. And lose the expression that I've got. Okay, well, thank you for watching. As always, the link to the final painting will be in the description and links to my artwork and many different other areas.